Georgia is a small country, located between the Black and Caspian Seas, neighboring Turkey and Armenia in the south, Azerbaijan in the east, and Russia in the north. It is listed among the top 10 safest countries to live in. You will find every sort of terrain with beautiful landscapes and mild climates, from mountains peaking over 6,000 meters to deep canyons, subtropical forests rich in vegetation, and even to a desert. Tbilisi is the capital of Georgia, and it's the largest city in the country, with a population of up to 2 million people. It is an important hub on the re-emerging Silk Road linking Europe and Asia. Tbilisi is a modern European city with a strong cosmopolitan identity, and a long history of being home to a variety of ethnic and religious communities. It's easy to find your niche when visiting Georgia. From its history and culture to modern living, you will find hundreds of ancient monuments and archaeological sites to discover, as well as wonderful nightlife in Tbilisi to relax and enjoy in your free time. All this makes Georgia one of the most desirable tourist destinations. I'm Simran. Uh, I'm from Pune, India. Uh, hi, my name is Ruturaj and I'm from Aurangabad. Hello, I am Aman. I'm from Dhanbad, India. Hi, I'm Radhika and I'm from Mumbai, India. My name is Vogan D'Souza. I'm from India, Mumbai, Bandra to be specific. Hello, my name is Alan Rajan Abraham and uh, I'm settled in Dubai but uh, I'm, I, I hail from Kerala. So um, I came here to uh, Rastavi city um, on the 7th of November 2016 and it's been about two months here and I'm definitely loving it here now. Georgia is very good, it's natural beauty and many sightseeing and beaches and all and here uh, people of Georgia is very good and helpful, very joyful. Georgia as a place, it's uh, basically a miniature India but thing is there is so much diverse uh, what is the landscapes, you can see many architecture, like you can see many stuff over here and the places are really cool. You can really enjoy uh, and I'm hoping for the vacation, I'm, I'm waiting for the vacations to enjoy, to explore more of Georgia. So before coming to this place, I obviously googled the safety about Georgia and it comes under the top 10 safest countries. Uh, instead of talking about the safety of Georgia, safety about our university, it's very safe. You know, we are like a family here. Uh, around 200 students and that's how our uh, teachers make us feel. This country as a whole is a very safe place because uh, the national security or uh, the peace and the morale of this country is really good. It uh, actually helps people a lot uh, and uh, it is also said, it is also known that it is one of the safest place. We don't feel homesick here. We have good <laughs> surroundings and uh, the scenery is nice. Our, our, our university is near to a river and it's a nice place. 
in in a short line it's a very cool country it has a very good culture and traditions because it's something like very fascinating and new you you, you would experience here because something you have never seen like rustavi is around 25 kilometers away from tbilisi and uh, tbilisi is a nice place uh, we go there by taxis buses and there are many more things to explore in rustavi also it's a nice city peace and uh, you get a study environment here as i had always aspired to be a doctor so um, uh, david tuldiani medical university has given me an opportunity to uh, fulfill my dreams and um, it's it's even better for me because um, they are, they are providing me for a course which um, which will help me clear in usmle later as well we have to study a lot because of, we have to give every day presentations we have orals and in month every month we have a quiz uh, i have a quiz i have passed in this in that i have to appear in that uh, second quiz uh, medicine is always a difficult throughout the world so <laughs> it's not easy uh, we have to study a lot in this because doctors are the second god of the, this world <laughs> so we have to uh, give life or we have to not take a life so we have to study a heart in this and here administrative staffs are very good helpful they provide us foods buying stuffs and everything education is usmle based and uh, main thing is that uh, if you're considering uh, uh, MCI USMLE is a higher standard than MCI so there's nothing worry uh, there to worry about uh, MCI daily basis the, the everyday studies are really good because uh, what we study on uh, what we study today it's um, it's we have to present it the next day to the teacher so that is a good thing because it makes it uh, forces us and it makes us to study sit and concentrate and study for the next day um, Basically speaking about this university it's uh, it has given me a very good experience cause uh, as you know uh, as i have friends in india who are doing their mbbs currently and when i inquire about them they tell me that the mbbs uh, studies like uh, the workload they have over there is too tough and difficult for them to handle you know on a daily basis but for us uh, for me it is uh, it is a, uh, it is a very helpful factor cause we uh, we don't have a uh like like we don't have a uh, a heavy load to study on a daily basis we just have like we just have to concentrate on one subject on a daily basis and then similar and, and so on we have the rotation which uh, like which depends upon a time uh, like which is limited by a time bound period uh studies here are uh, based on usmle and yes you you have to study hard here to be able to pass the oral exams and the quizzes Uh, after each subject uh, rotation there is an oral exam and after two three subjects uh, get over you have a quiz based on the syllabus of those uh, subjects um, yeah quiz is, the quiz is difficult and you have to understand the concept well to be able to answer the questions that come and pass you have to read you have to go through different books and uh like yeah it is tough but if you study each and every day so it's not that hard and as you have to present each and every day so uh, it's easy to get through it so <laughs> uh, education here is excellent uh, we've got everything that was promised to us uh, coming from food to the hostel uh, and to the education as well uh, the the staying staying over here is excellent the rooms uh, we get everything uh, that is means everything that is promised is there in the rooms uh coming up from a four sharing two sharing or three sharing whatever we want is provided and nothing is denied to us uh coming to the food the food is excellent because uh, we are more or less indian students here and uh, uh we have given food that uh, that is good for taste buds so there's nothing uh, like chapatis in the sense uh, we get that campus is pretty good and it is really spacious and uh, the best thing is that uh, there are proper rules restrictions which are needed and apart from that we have our own uh, enjoyment and uh, whatever functions or um, festivals we have it's um, celebrated with lots of pomp and joy uh, recently we had a fresh ass a fresh ass party which was really really exciting it was a nice um, it was a nice opportunity for us first year students to go uh, to have a fresh ass party 
and um, even for Christmas we had nice decorations and all kids um, came together, we cut a cake and everything. If there are people who go to the gym, uh, there will be a gym constructed in the college as well and many other sport activities, extracurricular act extra activities that are going to be present. Or you can say indoor games like table tennis uh, and other games and there will be a cricket uh, ground there, uh, probably a football and a uh, tennis court. The staff over here is really uh, is really cooperative and supportive because uh, even though uh, even though uh, by the time when we came to the new campus here, the staff was very helpful to us and they and they really uh, checked that they uh, they met our requirements because like when we uh, like when we face a problem or, or we had a difficulty in getting things done, the staff was so helpful to us and they and they just help us like uh, I don't know I just have no words I just feel like. Uh, like asking your relatives or your parents, anyone, like anyone back in your home country, just you're asking for help and they're doing it for you, like readily. The staff is uh, is so concerned about students over here and they do take really care of them. One thing I want to talk about, the teachers, they are doctors themselves. So people who have doubts like who are the teachers, are the doctors and stuff. They are doctors and some are graduates from uh, DTMU and few have passed US assembly and have uh, not decided to go to US but stay in their own country because they obviously they love this country and they have decided to teach in their uh, own the own college they passed out from. They speak fluent English uh, so we, we understand everything and they are going slow as possible whenever we have doubts they clear all our doubts and uh, they do wait after, after class ends they do wait and uh, help us solve our doubts and uh, they are warm at heart and it's very good. It's like home. Like you don't feel like you're in another country as such, and you feel really uh, you feel the warmth that uh, the Georgian people give you. The Georgians here are really cooperative. Uh, at at times you might feel it difficultly because uh, like, like the most of the people here they they some of them know English but some they just understand from from what we express they can understand a language. Uh, that is the only difficulty you'll face in the first world. But as the time goes on, you learn the language. Like you learn the Georgian language, and and similarly, you, like you will be able to communicate with them, and and these people over here are really helpful also. They are uh, they don't uh, what do you say? They are not harsh. They are they are very gentle. They are very calm. They help us a lot in the video. The main thing is about safety, food, or uh, staying, and uh, I'm sure like we video chat with our parents every day, more or less every day, because. Uh, education is tough and you don't get to talk to them every day and they understand it because they know we are studying and we are fooling around. Secondly, they know that we are getting all these facilities and we are happy and I'm uh, seeing us happy, they are happy. Uh, yeah, so uh, a message to them was is, is that, that we are happy here and there's nothing there to worry about or such. It's a wonderful opportunity for a medical student as we get to go to different specialized hospital for each subject. Since I'm in fourth year, I'm doing my clinical skills now and we go to different hospitals, work with different doctors and it is a very really interesting and educative experience to work with them. The fund bought a whole library of contemporary medical textbooks, questionnaires and visual aids to educate new students with up-to-date material. In 1991, a new educational program was created based on the requirements of the US licensing examination. The main goal of the program was to prepare doctors to successfully pass these examinations and get an opportunity to train in residency programs in leading US hospitals in their desired fields of study. In September of the same year, the institute accepted its first 60 students. Fifteen of these graduates were able to efficiently pass the very difficult license exams and are now employed in leading medical centers in the United States. After graduating from here, I would, I would like to go back to my country, appear for my MCI exam and hopefully I will pass that. And after that, uh, we know that medicine is a very big field, so I would like to appear for the higher examinations also there. And if not possible, I would like to explore other options like because already we have been in a different country once. We know how to be in a different countries and we know the opportunities we have in US, we have in London, we have in Australia and Dubai. So there are different entrance examinations, so maybe I will prepare for them and I will try to continue my education there or if I have the opportunity to continue it in India, I will be very happy to be a part of my country and serve it. I'm hoping that I would be able to write ESMLE and clear it with flying colors and 
hope I could achieve in residency in USA. Twenty-five years later, IAT remains the only medical institution in the region whose program is solely structured based on the American medical license requirements. So after my graduation, I'd like to go back to India and continue with my career and uh, hopefully help, uh, hopefully be a good doctor and help the world in whatever way I can. After I graduate from here, I would like to go back to India, clear my MCI and become a very successful doctor. I am very grateful to pursue my uh, to pursue my career as a doctor and I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the teachers who have guided me and helped me to be better each My name is Tara Sharafiza. I graduated from David Tuliani Medical University in 2013. Currently, I am enrolled in Emory University Hospital Neurology Residency Program. My name is Nina Karashvili. I graduated from David Fildiani Medical University in 2013. Currently, I'm enrolled in Palmero Health South Carolina University Hospital Neurology Residency Program. The PSF sent some distinguished and honorable young doctors to the United States with a mission to master modern educational methods in theoretical and practical medicine. These young doctors later became the cornerstones of the new educational curriculum in IAT Medical School. I'm Nana Jinjolava. I finished IIT Medical School in 2007. Currently, I'm working in New York City, Mount Sinai Hospital, as rheumatology doctor. My name is Dr. Tamar Bejanishvili. I graduated from IIT Medical School in 1997. I'm currently uh, working as an internal medicine doctor at University Hospital of Cleveland. I'm also a faculty of the residency program here. My name is George Zeridiani. I finished IIT Medical School in 1998. Since 2008, I'm working at uh, Centauri Norfolk General Hospital as a hospitalist. I'm Dr. Nana Kobayvanova. I graduated IIT Medical School in 1997. Currently, I work as a medical director at the Cleveland Clinic Family Health Center. Um, hi, my name is Nino Mikaverize. I graduated IIT Medical School in 2003 and I'm working as an rheumatology fellow at Wild Cornell Medical Center, New York Presbyterian Hospital. Hello, my name is Nato Neparize. I graduated from IIT Medical School in 2000. Uh, currently, I'm working in the United States um, at the Yale University section of hematology and medical oncology as a professor in hematology. If you want to pursue this compassionate career and desire to earn a high quality education with an internationally acclaimed degree, then join us at the DTMU. We will provide you with all the needed conditions and guide you on your way to conquer the peaks and pits of modern medicine.